Hey guys and welcome back to season 13 of AOR and today it's round 8 and we're at Silverstone for the home of motorsport and it's one of the um, trickier circuits on the calendar I would say but it also offers some of the best corners with Magus and Beckett so it's a, it's a real challenge and if we look at last season we have uh, the now tier 1 driver surprise me who won and F1 Maestro in second and then Jordan Bignall in third and surprise me took pole with a 130.2 which is actually a decent time uh, I think I'm not even sure it's going to be beaten this time round but we'll find out in qualifying As you can probably see uh, right now it's actually a one shot qualifying uh, we had to do it because uh, all of us lagged out um, of the race so we had to reset um, where I think I got P11 um, in the normal uh, uh, lobby but I can't quite remember as this is quite a long time since I record this but so far it's been a it's been a tidy lap um, I think we are well, I can't see this steering wheel but I think we are quite far up the grid from where we normally are to go as wide as we can to try and swing it in go down to third gear then short shift up to fourth and just yeah short shift on the exit here as well to, to get the good traction um, as it's one of the most important corners on the calendar we now come down to cups I believe it's all about going as wide as you can again and swinging the car and you can't quite go full power maybe you can next year um, but uh, we'll see and now one of the most exciting corners section of corners on the track and I think I nailed them pretty much yeah that's uh, just got a little bit wide on the exit but um, that's quite good and as you can see on the steering wheel I think we're on for P3 maybe um, which is very good so um, we can just keep this together then there should be a good qualifying position no I've just got, oh, I go, I go way too wide and I think that's the chance of pole is at least gone let's hope I can stick it together here in the last first sector last sector no come on uh, I completely bottled it in the final sector that's going to be P6 and this time was actually slower than my uh, other qualifying lap but I mean if I had nailed that third sector I did some calculation and afterwards I would have gotten pole if I had matched my time from, from earlier so I'm a bit gutted about that but let's get into the race Here we are on the grid for my highest start position so far in this season as the five red lights are about to go. And there they are and we are away it's a decent start. Not too much position changing going on but we've got to be careful into this first corner. It is easy to get side swipe but we managed to get out without any sort of issues. And, oh, maybe I try and go down inside mid here and no, he covers us off. Oh, we're going to dive up again. Nah, again, I think he's, he's got the traction, there's not much I can do there, but maybe there's some slipstream opportunities down this straight. Mm, nah, I don't really think so, maybe we can hang it around the outside. Nah, mid cover covers off the wall there. Um, but maybe there will be some opportunity on the, on the back straight, um, if we can nail the, the following corners, as we've seen we've got bit of a gap to Callum behind us so we shouldn't come under attack if we can just nail this corner oh no I got a bit, bit wide as I think everyone did there it's quite tricky this first lap just to feel the car in, in heavy conditions so get quite close oh Camundo is just he's gone into the gravel and that's gonna put us into P5 now which is very nice it's a, a good change to be so far the grid but oh that's the safety car it's come out of don't know what that was for maybe, but um, someone's left the section, Kim Liam, the deputant, so hopefully it wasn't anything serious, but it probably was, and as you can see I pitted for the medium tyres under the safety car because the soft tyres weren't going to last that long anyway, so I might just as well take the chances at a like kind of corner, and I ooh, didn't get on the exit, and I think it's Riley boys, yeah, just come and taking that position off me, I was caught a bit bit off guard there I must say but I had an idea that the safety car line would be further down but apparently it wasn't um, so that's a position lost which is a bit which is a bit gutting but um, hopefully I can I can get it back later in the race now we cut onto lap 6 going into cups oh no I break way too early and I spotted it but I managed to hold it but I think that's going to give Simon a chance to go up 
the Sonic Zia and LGS as well because I don't really want to go side by side into magazine packets but maybe we can get him on the exit here get a good exit but he's gonna have DRS as well maybe not no because it hasn't been activated yet but he has much better slipstream than me it seems um, and that's that position gone so two positions in one corner really which is a bit annoying but maybe ooh, he's got a bit scrolling and maybe we can get the position back here oh no he's moving oh for fuck's sake well that's my race destroyed if I feel I'm gonna be last no there's Dom and Jim is still behind but I don't know what really happened there I think LGS just moved a bit under braking maybe I was a bit too aggressive but it's difficult to tell um, and yeah as you can see nothing happened for the next what 12 laps or something and on P18 as you can see I pitted for the hard tires on lap uh, 13 whereas most guys managed to pit on the safety car so that's put me a bit of a disadvantage but hopefully we can still salvage something um, from this race but I'm not really too hopeful as it hasn't quite gone our way um, I must admit but maybe we can make a move down in Chirac here because he's taking the corner a bit badly no I don't want to stick my car in there and risk getting taken out are we going to come under attack from Brasso here is he trying to go up around the outside no I just managed to hold him off but I actually cut the corner and got a penalty but, I mean it was really fair in, in my opinion but there's nothing I can do about that so we'll now try and see if we can make some overtakes on this huge pack ahead here. I think Chirac's looking a bit... Yeah, he seems to have gotten a bad exit. We should be able to slipstream him here, no problem. Come on. In rich mix. But he's on the medium tire. Can we outbreak him up the inside? Yeah, he's still on the, on the outside. Can I get a better turn here? Let's get on the power early and out drag him. It's going to be difficult because it does have better traction. Uh, yeah, I think I might just have to pull out here unless we're going to crash. Yeah, I just had to pull out of that one. Maybe I can do the cutback. Nah, it's not going to work. Hopefully we can follow him through Magus and Beckett and get a good exit. Down the hangar straight, I think it is. No, we just... Oh, we lose the back end and now we're going to come and attack from Basak again. Yeah, I think he's gonna have us come on, or maybe we can outdrag him. Into the braking zone, can we hold him up? Oh, it's close. Ah, he just he just got a hit, but now VBR Hirasi is gonna come on our inside with the medium size and he outbreaks us as well. Oh, I'm losing so many positions right now. It's not, not the best. But there's nothing we can do about it. just try and improve. And now we cut on to lap 21. Ooh, that's Vibia Hereza again lagging. Oh, and they're taking each other out. I think um, Vibia Hereza and the Renault needs to take a look at the internet because he lags all over the place sometimes. It's quite dangerous for, for some of us drivers when we do when we do battle with him. But hopefully he'll fix that at, at some point. But looks like we have Vibia Raikkonen behind us. The once championship leader, but he's now falling a bit down the table, but he's still massively fast, so I think on the medium tires he's gonna try and make a move on us soon. Yeah, it's too soon for him here, but he's probably gonna try and do it down the hangar straight. Let's hope we can oh another corner cup warning. I've gotten plenty of those in this race, most of them, which you haven't seen because I don't really want to show my dirty corner cutting, but now VBR Raikkonen is gonna come with the DRS. Can we defend from him? We're gonna take the outside line, try and do the cutback. And um, he goes deep. Ah, oh, no, I just got over the curb, and well, there wasn't really any chance to make the cutback where um, when I hit the curb and I just go wide. And I think that's that position loss because he's in the medium tires. And yeah, as you can see, nothing happened for the rest of the race. And Bixie's gonna win, and oh, LDS just takes the fastest lap at the end. Let's just get over the line and get this race finished. Oh, I can't even do that. I mean, what a shambles. But um, yeah, it's not been the best best race. P13 is gonna be starting P6. That's really not um, sat very satisfying, I must admit. But uh, it says Camunda won here, but um, Bixi's uh, 10 second penalty um, got uh, removed by the stewards after the race. So he, he did win. Um, with Kamunda coming second, um, so congratulations to Bixi. I think it is second win this season. 
I'm not really sure, but um, he's surely going to be up there when we take a look at the standings in the middle. Uh, in a minute, um, when I just scroll down, yeah, P13, I think I was the last of the runners, yeah, and I think I've done that a few times this season, been last of the runners, but I mean, hopefully I can improve in the next in the next races when some of the track maybe suits me better, but as you can see, Kamundo just take the lead in the Drivers' Championships ahead of Allrounder and Bixi, um, but it's very close between Kamundo and Allrounder, only three points separating them. Um, as we now go and take a look at the bottom half of the standing where we find myself in P18 where I've been for the last few races and you, as you can see we have uh, King Lee in 25 who's a new driver in, in 22 place here but hopefully I can improve and I'll see you next time. <laughs>